Ah! Why are we letting Raven do these things? I heard that evil laugh. Ooh, you can get the pack rat out right away, and you're gonna need the item. Scissors. Can't... Oh. You're right. The gek is a good card. It's free. <laughs> Not a mantis god, but this is better. You can get shift shift a direction and uh, split attack. Where's the... I. I... Why, why are we? Why are we? Why? Why? Oh God. You know, I don't normally see this many appearances of these yeah, guys. Yeah, it doesn't seem to... It seems to just litter the field with these things. Okay, who's this crazy folk? You I think the angler again. Now it's the trapper. Oh, wow. And now... And uh, the fun part about this is... <laughs> See how all, all these are traps. How serious is this? The music kicks in. Unfortunately, we cannot hear it. Yeah. Hear it on the recording along with our dulcet tones. Granted, I'm thinking of like the final battle with Flowey when he's like mega Flowey because of the knives. So here's a fun thing about this part. This again is a two stage fight. And anything that the traps kill becomes a pelt you you want the pelts why do we want the pelts or stage two of the fight oh no Uh, stick the alpha next to the to the pronghorn, I think. I, I wish I could. No. I thought you had more than that. Oh, well. Oh. Oh, no. Now we can do this. I'd put the beehive, well. See, the thing is, the pelt you get, you, you'll see exactly what they do in the next, in the next part of this. I hope distraction is, is, uh, So you get two pelts, and then it lands here. So you have to look through here, and any pelt you've got, you can trade for the cards that just got laid down. I can see one I want. The grizzly with the two-toned yep, attack. Yep, the grizzly with that. And anything we don't trade for stays on the other side of the board and we have to fight it. Don't like that. Not good. The good thing is, we don't have to draw out of the main deck for a little bit. Because we've got, well, we've got a pretty powerful freaking grizzly right there. 
not only is it there, but it is, um... Yep, there we go. Game winner. It was, it's boosted by the alpha, which gives us enough oomph to just beat the boss. Hmm. Oh no. Who Is of those? Is one of man again? Oh yes. He's the one that means the Mushroom Man again! Of course you don't think he will. We won't. No, because we've only... We, we don't get the Mushroom Man, but we do get something else. <laughs> only one choice. Yep. Oh, God. Because this is the final stage of Act 1. So hang on, before you... can Dang it, you can't stand up, can you? No. Nope. Because right about now is when you could find the final clue for the cuckoo clock. Oh. Oh, well. Which, if you beat, if you manage to just steamroll this boss like you did the rest, doesn't matter, but. I think that Raven has been madly experimenting with these cards. Three drawn cards, airborne. You don't have much airborne or waterborne, so I think your best bet is to try to draw for a pelt. Sweet. There you go. You want that one. Oh, you want the ambidextrous. You don't have a ring. And the Gek is a rare card, so... Mm. <clears throat> oh, there you go. You what got you say, Hill, you, you get... doing with my eyeballs? It gives it lets us draw two cards that we get to pick any cards we want now. Her turn. Oh. So yeah, if you did the cuckoo clock, if you got the final clue. Oh. Which, if you stood up and looked around, there would be something that told you what time it was. And then you set the cuckoo clock to it. It would give you a ring that would just allow you to automatically pass one of those checks. Uh. Had to make them dra the Dungeons and Dragons joke, I'm sorry. Oh. So basically now we have And he gets three lives. Oh good. Oh, oh. Hi, buddy. The, his his trick is he's going to pull out the tricks from the other groups. We have Super Grizzly already. Well, I mean, the greater smoke there is a uh you may not have wanted to play that, but we do have so many super cards. <laughs> Do 
Yep, you're drawing two cards a turn, remember? We have Scry. We literally have Mega Scry here. Yep. And that grizzly on the board just ended the first ended the first section. Damn. No go, they broke. And now it's gonna bring out death cards. Hi, Reginald! Who's the other guy? Casey. Casey's mom didn't get it on. <laughs> Sorry. So right now you can just build up your stores. Oh no, the gold nuggets. No! Yep. Because now the other side has to punch through all those gold nuggets. We don't seem to have a graveyard, but I'm guessing if we run out of cards, instead of getting decked, we just reshuffle? I believe so. And here's the gimmick of the angler that you need to see. He's going to pull one of the cards over to your side. Or to his side. And it's usually the last one you played. Yep. Don't put that one down while he's about to swing a hook. I don't know, I got better targets. Yep. Gimmick is stealing our cards. Slight problem, we, um, yep, uh, him. You have choices. The death card has to suck because you keep getting bopped. One final round. What? Okay, so that is going to deal one damage to all four spaces on the board. And it has 40 hit points. Is that the world? That's the moon. Are we okay. playing Majora's match Mask now? I mean, that wouldn't be far off. Raven. You can, well, you could just put, I think you could have put the stink bug down too, just to. Oh, yeah. Not that it matters too much, cause he, he's not gonna serve, that moon is not gonna survive another round. Not now. We that was Yay! the fastest moon kill I've seen. We blew up the moon. Whoops. We are safe from the Saiyans. <laughs> the Saiyans? Dragon Ball Z reference. The Saiyans okay. would turn into... Um... Huge monkeys, really. Yeah, it, it was... It, it, it was... Weird. Unfortunately, I don't know anything about Dragon Ball. So, do we get a death card of him? Oh my! Did I Give just... it a minute. I think I just made him. Oh. Huh? Did 
we fall out of the screen? Camera rebooting? Maybe that's a company name? Yoko, you were talking about the uh, design. Guy. Hey there, card gamers. I'm the Lucky Carter, and this is another pack opening video. Today, I am opening Catch Monsters packs and digging for that epic, shiny Transcend Dog! And here, I'll add some crazy VFX with lightning bolts or something. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I am about to open my first pack. Feeling good about this one. Feeling real good. Um. What's going on? Just watch. Okay. Story. Oh, he didn't take the first three and then shuffle them to the back. <laughs> Not exactly a viable competitive card, but hey, it's a pretty one. All right. Next pack. Feeling even better about this one. I gotta say, these cards are feeling extra... We eat the moon, so now we're in this alternate reality in some dude's house. So Does he even notice we're right here? Not sure what they're doing down there at the, uh, the card factory, but, um... But I'm gonna go see if he has any good snacks. Okay. Anyone wanna join me? Let's see what we got here. Card factory. Does that guy look like he keeps good snacks around here? The good ones would mess up the cards. And our rare for this pack is... Why they're not on the table with him, uh, Surat? We're taking them. It's actually riveting so far, but we have many packs to go. Next pack, here we come. Just cut out this part. Editing. Hey there, card gamers. I'm the Lucky Carter, and this is a vintage pack opening video. Today I'm opening a few super rare old It's a shame that we don't have any sound here. I've got four packs of inscription. You would not believe the deal I got on these. Now, not all of you will even remember this game. I'm barely old enough to have uh, seen these going around in my childhood. Uh, for whatever reason, they only did one set of these cards and then stopped printing them. Uh, there's not a huge market for them anymore, but at the rate I got them for, there's not really much to lose. That being said, a foil mantis god goes for a couple hundred bucks, so fingers crossed. You know, I'm uh, not the tempted. mantis god. I am tempted to see if they actually produce any real life cars of these. Definitely stands the test of time. A real life game of inscription work. Blue mage. Cool looking card. Like I'm pretty sure that's illegal in most states and most right. countries, and I think by the Geneva Convention at this point. No one snuck the rare out of it. That suck. Come on, people, honestly. Why do you open the packs that way? That bothers me. <laughs> it's still more accurate than most TV shows about card games. <laughs> Sorry, pop. Degrees north, 123 degrees west. Uh, I think I'd have to check, but I think that's pretty nearby. And this guy is going to make a choice he may regret. Yep, it, it's possible. Possible we're playing a haunted card game. I I, I think I'm it's more so likely Living it's not life. even funny. Got my trusty headlamp and shovel. Always come prepared, kids. Headlamp and a shovel. Huh. There we go. I am so tempted to sing diggy diggy hole now. Getting close, I think. Assuming there is a thing 
to get close to. This very well may be a massive waste of... All right, that's why you always bring an extra battery, boys and girls. Every time. <laughs> you gotta come prepared. Mm. Like you're gonna hunt the Blair Witch, you're gonna need plenty of batteries. Yep. You're gonna hunt the Blair Witch, you're gonna need more than just batteries. You're gonna need, like, all the things. Preferably shotgun. Alright. Yeah, hey, that's an Okia. Okay. That should be fine. It's like the one thing that's gonna survive this whole freaking mess. And now, we dig. So, you guys digging this so far? <laughs> nice. Not one. yet, he's just poking around a lot, really. I give a 75% chance it's a rock. But, <laughs> only one way to find it. Fair enough. I guess he was trying to see if he could hit something hard on the surface first, which yeah. makes sense. Well, that did, I, I believe that's a plan. Oh my god, you guys, I can't believe it. There's actually something here. I don't think it's particularly deep either. No, it's not. One really good rainstorm would have just kind of washed away that that cover. Yeah. Oh, a floppy disk. A floppy disk. What? Oh god, it's even pushed aside as well. The, the tapes is exposed. Yep. That's not good. No. Are you seeing this? Especially with all the dirt that got in there. Yeah. I'm, uh... Okay, I'm nobody's confused. wondering why somebody buried a floppy disk in the forest? What, you've never done it before? No, because I'm sane and I don't keep weird supernatural creepypasta secrets on floppy disks. Mate. I keep them... What? Sane people don't keep saying they're sane. Crazy people say they're sane. Fine, I'm okay. saner than whoever buried the floppy disk. Is that better? <laughs> also, I keep my creepypasta magical secrets and tomes wrapped in human skin like normal people, okay? Wow, what? But you've never buried a floppy disk before. Oh, my mom would have killed me. Okay. Time to figure out what's on this thing. She's a freaking hacker in the 80s. You know, she she burned those discs specifically to get free games. If I buried one, she would have murdered my ass. That looks familiar. Yeah. Uh, did we just break reality again? I, I think we need to reboot reality. I to do that for years. What's your point? I'm missing since uh, floppy disks are most only have 1.44 mega mega megabytes. This is a tiny game. Yeah, yeah, can't be much on it. Um, who? My birthday who just passed. So whose birthday is that? Oh, thanks. It. I can't tell if it looks like shits or brains. I'm afraid it's like intestines. Because it, it looked like meat. It definitely looked like meat. I. Excuse me, sir. Oh, we're missing details. 
I'm tempted to make that a zero zero card so it dies as soon as you put it out. Yeah. Hmm, that's a lot of uh stuff. Yeah. Is that the new game icon? Yeah, it looks like a new game icon. Yeah, it does. Let's poke it. Why why is Considering... it glowing and shaking? Considering it, we didn't bring it up, but if you look when you first start the game, new game is not an option. Yeah. Yeah, we're playing someone's old save game, which is weird. Hmm. Fascinating. Can I do anything there? Hmm. Look, new game is now an option. Yeah. Yeah, but the way the screen flickered is not putting it me. In the it, it's fine. Yeah, he's fine. He's fine. Yoko, these two would walk us into freaking Smile Dog's mouth. To be Do you fair, agree? This is because I am watching a stream. I I do have a sense of security. I would definitely not go anywhere with them. <laughs> oh no, we could go with them, but we'd have to make sure we're behind them so we can shove them into the danger so we can run. <laughs> it's... Well, I'm not leaving the city. It's also an unknown. It's, it's coming to the end of this recording session, so yeah, that's been Inscription Act 1. Yep. What does Inscription Act 2 have to offer? You have to wait and find out. And for some of us, and for others, that means it's another two weeks until we get back to this. So, uh, hope oh, we're not waiting too long. So, I've been the Raven, this has been Inscription, this has been the Lady Maid, Sabot, and Yoko. So, uh, next. So, uh, don't, if you get a card with coordinates on it, don't go digging out in the wild. You never know what you're going to get. Or at least don't go alone. Yeah. Yeah, have a buddy. Or at least someone you're quicker than. To because, keep... because when the ancient evil horror comes after you, you don't have to outrun it. You just have to outrun your friend. Yes. Maybe we should take ATVs if we do that, just because we can outdrive it. Later, folks. Take Bye. care, everyone. Bye.